there! Welcome to our reading for March 2018. I really appreciate all of you being here. Thank you so much. If you want a more in-depth look at your month, check out your sun, moon, and rising sign videos. Remember, it is a general reading, so see what feels right for you. See which signs, symbols, bells, whistles, messages, energies resonate for you and bring you clarity to what you're wondering, concerned, confused, inquiring, dreaming, and praying about. We're all spiritual. We're all psychic. We're all children of God. We're not all going through the same thing at the same time at the same pace. This could clarify the past. It could shed light into the future or be right in sync with the now. In the end, always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions based in love for the highest and greatest good of everybody. So we're all uplifted in love. See how it feels for you. If you get a chance, try to check out the musical playlist that I put below. See if there's something personal for you in the lyrics, in the music, or just enjoy the songs. Thank you so much for being here. I love you. I hope you enjoy the reading, and I'll see you in a moment. Virgo, welcome to our reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's begin and get some clarity on the energies coming through in March 2018. Now, I'm pretty curious about Virgo's reading. I have a lot of Virgo energy around me. Some of my dearest friends are Virgos. I'm a Virgo. My mom is a Virgo. And my sister has a Virgo rising. So let's begin. We're going to start the reading with the daily guidance from your angels oracle cards. Let's see what God, Source, Holy Spirit, our higher self, angels, and energies of love have for the highest and greatest good of all. We'll start with one card, get some general advice, wisdom, and clarity for Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising. Insight into March 2018. Creative project is coming through for Virgo. You guys are really creative. This is a good card. So, oh, this could be so many different mediums. It's getting your hands into something to build something, to do something where time flies by, where it's non-existent. It could be an active meditation, sort of something like knitting, cross-stitching, painting. It could be very active and in the moment, like music. Maybe you sing, play an instrument. Um, this could be anything. I mean, it could be doing hair, uh, doing makeup, uh, styling clothes. It makes me think of a makeover. Maybe you're doing something different with your style, helping somebody else have a makeover. Um, this could be you as an actor, an actress, crocheting. Um, I want to say pencils and pens are important. Maybe write something down. Take notes on those inspirations that come to you. It also makes me think of like going in your closet, going in your cupboards, um, going in your garage and finding uh, like trinkets of inspiration. You know, a hodgepodge that you put together that makes something beautiful. You know, a creative project. I think of like three-dimensional art. I keep getting business cards too. Maybe business cards, you know, changing up your look, um, changing up the colors on your walls even. Um, are you being creative? You know, there's a creative flair that you have that's important to use in March. There's a specific talent that you have that you need to get back to. You need to pursue. You need to practice. Um, this is something you want to do. You know, it's, I'm getting where time flies by. Um, it's your talents that come through. It's something important that you have. It's a specific uh, knack you have. Um, when you get those ideas, when you get those inspirations, perhaps write them down or gather those materials. I just thought of like a hardware store or maybe a yard sale or um, maybe something on eBay. Um, it makes me think of organite. Maybe you make organite or work with crystals or jewelry, something like that, metalwork even. Um, I mean, being I just thought of like a hot rod. I mean, being creative can be working on a car, you know, making that car fabulous. I just thought of, um, you know, detail work, something like that. I think of chrome for some reason. Um, 
So maybe you're going in your garage, you're going to the craft store, you find one thing that inspires you. Maybe you already have everything you need around you and you just need to get started. Maybe make some time, you know, schedule that time in so you can be creative. Have some you time. Even do something fun like my sister does and have a painting party. You know, invite people that have never painted before and see how awesome they are. You know, sometimes I want to say even when you do something and it's sort of childlike, it's amazing. You know, people find uh, new inspirations. Maybe it's a new medium for you. Maybe you feel like a child. You feel like you have to grow a lot. You feel young doing a certain thing, but maybe you'll get better. You'll become the professional. Maybe you have a flair, a knack for something, but it's starting at, I'm, I'm getting like white belt to the black belt, you know, or maybe because you're naive and new at something, that's what's beautiful about it. That's why it's special. Um, that's why you bring a different flair to it than someone who's always done it a certain way and follows the rules all the time. So here I see the harp. Um, it's really pretty. I feel like there's inspiration coming to you in a vortex vortex of energy around you. Like you are in that now. You're in that moment. It makes me think of modern dance. Um, I feel like I saw the video. I can't remember who it was, but it's a, a younger singer. I think it's Billy something. And she has a video where she does her own modern dance. It was really cool. I saw it in the summer. I will find it and I'll put it below. I have no idea what song it is, but I can kind of see the video. Maybe you do videos, you know, maybe you're a director or a producer, something like that. Maybe you do YouTube, you know, maybe you teach. Sometimes, um, the best teachers aren't necessarily the most talented, but they have a way to get that idea through, you know, to connect to their students. Maybe you're finding a mentor, Virgo. Maybe you are the mentor. So here, creative project is your soul longs to express itself in creative ways. We're guiding you to infuse artistry and creativity into your life. Creative expression makes you feel alive and excited. It reignites passion towards your life. It gets you excited again. It could be pulling out that old piece of art that you never finished. You know, that thing that you were sewing and you, you sewed your pants backwards and you'd put it away, maybe cut it up and make it something totally different. I see fabric now. Another thing my sister does is she takes pictures of her artwork, um, uploads it to Spoonflower and makes wrapping paper. For Christmas, we had uh, personalized wrapping paper of her paintings. It was pretty cool, but you can also get graphics. You can get wallpaper, decals. You can get anything now. So if you have those little inspirations, perhaps like take a picture. Remember it. Make it something different. Change your medium. Change your format. Vinny agrees with that, <laughs> with what I just said. So let's move along. Let's get further clarity for Virgo. Creative project, creative energy, inspiration coming through for Virgo. Maybe somebody else has a good idea for you. They recognize your talent. You know, sometimes we don't see how good we are at certain things until it's brought to light by somebody else. So if somebody compliments you, take that in, say thank you, you know, perhaps pursue it farther. Find out more about it, Virgo. Um, so for all the readings, I'm using the Animal Tarot. This is new and I really love this deck, but I'm switching off the other cards. For Virgo, I chose the Paulina Tarot. So let's get another card. Let's get clarity for Virgo Sun, <laughs> Moon and Rising. That scared Mannix. Uh, hi, Vinny. Let's get clarity for Virgo on Creative Project. Your soul longs to express itself. Um, I just thought of the Madonna song. I'll put that below. In creative ways, we're guiding you to infuse artistry and creativity into your life. Creative expression makes you feel alive and excited and reignites passion towards your life. Virgos, you are really creative. You're good with your hands, too. You're good at building stuff. Um, taking random things in your everyday environment and making it special, you know, making it different. I see you almost redecorating your home, maybe your office space, maybe something like that. I even see like, I want to see a license plate. 
uh, a decal on your car or something like that, maybe for your business. You're changing your look, you know, putting your home business on your car, um, advertising, you know, something like that. I just heard jingle. Maybe you write songs, write music. Maybe it's a short little jingle, you know, that you can use. Something that's, um, something that's memorable. The, third, the first thing I thought of was double mint, like commercials from the 80s and 90s. That was really weird. I'll put something from that below. All right, let's get a card for Virgo. Clarity on creative project. And, oh, the Hierophant is coming through for Virgo. So this could be you going to school, thinking about your marriage, um, your business, places where there's more than one, where there's uh, multiple energies coming together and following certain rules that make something work. This could be a spiritual mentor, um, Maybe you read cards, you read oracle cards, something like that. This could be church. Um, this is like-minded individuals. So sometimes their hierophant is finding out that the energies around you aren't grooving with you anymore and it's you going out on your own and breaking those rules a little bit. Um, I have a really weird example, Virgo. So say you're sitting in an auditorium, you're sitting in school, you're sitting in church, you're somewhere and you walk, this is so weird, and you walk outside and you see a UFO. You know, what if everybody else that was inside did not see that except you? That miracle was for you, that weird thing. Maybe you saw an angel, you know, you saw something really magnificent, but Perhaps you're the only witness in that situation. Do you go back in and try to convince everybody what you, what you saw? You can't always do that. But it's possible to find someone else or a group that saw the same thing as you. That was a really weird example. But sometimes I think of that as the Hierophant upside down. But this could be, you know, uh, you at work. It's you in a group. Virgo, a group that works for you. So pay attention to the energies around you and find a group of like-minded individuals that groove with you. You know, um, like attracts like. Um, maybe you're thinking about your marriage or something that you signed up for. Maybe it's exactly what you wanted it to be. Or maybe, Virgo, you have to rewrite the rules. Maybe you have to take everybody else's opinions into consideration here. Um, there's a book here, so something by the book, maybe you're writing a new chapter, doing something different because of your experience. Maybe you are teaching something or finding that good mentor coming towards you. This is a really powerful card. It's Major Arcana, I'll let you see this. It's Major Arcana 5. For me, 5 means change, changing something around, spinning those wheels a different way. Um, I'm, I'm getting writing a new chapter. Maybe you actually write. Maybe you're a writer. Maybe you have to revise something or go back to something or write it a different way, write a different ending. Um, leave the ending open-ended. Allow something to unfold. I want to say there's a bell here. Um, maybe that's something personal. There's also a key. Uh, I want to say a lotus. Lots of flower, lots of floral energy coming through. Maybe you do work in a garden, and I see a bunch of fish here. So maybe there's a Pisces energy around you, or you find um, you find something beneficial in your opposite, which would be Pisces. I actually have a, a Pisces rising, so I'm balancing out those opposites all the time. Um, you're teaching, so maybe you're finding the right teacher. Sometimes you can go learn a subject from somebody and like retain nothing. And then that same subject you learn from somebody else, you retain everything. That different teacher has a different way to present that information that you just get it. You just get it. Maybe that's you, your specific energy, your specific way of speaking, talent, getting something across is um, inspiring to others. Virgo. This is a very inspirational card. Let's get clarity on the Hierophant. Major Arcana 5. Um, we're going to go to the Animal Tarot. Let's get clarity for Virgo on Creative Project. The Hierophant. 
Major Arcana 5, Clarity 4, March 2018. I hear commitment. So maybe you're making a commitment or somebody else is making a commitment to you to get something done, to get through something, to get to that next chapter, um, to work with you. These cards are big. All right, let's get another card for Virgo. Oh, I just, I just heard that song, uh, Stay. Where's that? From Dirty Dancing. Um, I want to say it's Maurice and the somethings. Something like that. Um, maybe you're staying in a situation you thought was tough, or somebody else is sticking around for you, or maybe you're not staying. Ooh, that jumped. That was the Ace of Spring that jumped for Virgo. So this is the white tiger. This is a really good idea, Virgo. This is something that makes you passionate. I would say this is definitely a creative project. This could be an adventure. I feel like this card came up for somebody else as well. Um, maybe a tiger energy. Um, it makes me think of, of the lioness, the huntress coming through, the hunter coming through, um, you know, to tackle your situation, to tackle that uh, conversation. This is like, Ah, the big passionate energy coming through, but you have to do something about it. You have to light that flame and move with it. Um, take that adventure, book that vacation. It's taking this idea and then going farther with it, not stopping at the idea. So maybe write it down so you don't forget it. Actually pursue something more. Um, a wonderful, a wonderful new opportunity presents itself. It may come as a surprise, but you'll still want to leap into action and passionately pursue every possibility. So there's a lot of passion coming through for Virgo. A lot of big, bold, passionate, exciting kind of energy. I feel like that's usually an adventure. Maybe it feels like an adventure for you. I'm going to pull one more card. Let's clarify Ace of Spring. That one sort of jumped out of the deck. So let's clarify Ace of Spring for Virgo. And that's the Seven of Autumn. All right, so the Seven of Autumn means that you planted good seeds. The harvest isn't necessarily now, but it will come in the future. Usually the Seven of Spring is, it's, or the Seven of Autumn means Seven of Pentacles. So it does mean there's some hard work to do. So how can you make your work feel not so hard? Um, make sure what you're doing, where you're putting your energy is something you love. You know, something you are into that you want to dig your hands in the dirt for. Um, I like this card is so cute. It's the cow. So... It means there's still work to do, but you're on the right path. I see the seven as on the right road, the road to truth, the road to spirituality. Um, it means the harvest is on its way. It might not be now. It might be in the change of the season in the future, but it will come. You just have to revisit this situation to go back to water your plants, to tend your garden, and it will grow. Um, cow is the planning resources and efforts you've invested in your dream will reap great rewards. In the meantime, have patience and meditate on your next step. Little by little, Virgo goes a long way. You might not get it done all at once. You know, it might take a while, but that's okay. It'll get you there. I see that white belt to black belt again. You know, going to the gym and starting off a little bit rough, but then gaining your strength, gaining those muscles to handle something. You know, you can't just jump to the finish line. You have to enjoy the journey. So take some time out. I want to say with this, make sure you're sleeping enough, maybe a bubble bath, some downtime, some you time. Section your time out so you're not putting too much energy into one area. All work and no play. All play and no work. You know, rest, relaxation, time with your family. Maybe you're just rearranging your schedule so, so things flow better. So 
this is a nice reading. You definitely have a brand new start to do something. You know, it might be a long way away to reach your goal. And while you're on the journey, your goal might change. It's like when you start a creative project and you start it meaning it for it to be one thing. And at the end, it's something completely different. And that's okay. You know, that's how creativity comes through. So... I feel like you have some like-minded individuals, maybe some classes you can sign up for, a place you can go where you can talk about your projects, talk about your talents, maybe a band, um, support system around you, Virgo. There's a support system for you. So let's get another card. We're going to go to the Winged Enchantment and get a final card for Virgo, Clarity on the Hierophant. I want to say follow your intuition with the Hierophant. It's um, also writing rules to things that maybe don't make sense. You know, like spirituality, something like that. Sometimes you need some rules. You know, you need a stop sign sometimes so that everybody is safe, so traffic runs smoothly. So sometimes rules are valuable they're important but sometimes those rules need to be rewritten so keep yourself open-minded to that situation where the rules are good and they work where everybody can follow the rules and it's beneficial and then perhaps there's another area in your world that you're rewriting those rules they could be two different aspects of your life so let's get a card for virgo The Pelican is coming through. I feel like this came through for somebody else as well. 27 is a 9, so that's almost completion with something. Um, it makes me think of the Hermit with the 9, but Pelican, um, I want to say being resourceful. There's a feather here. Maybe feathers are important. Birds are important when you see birds. It makes me think of the wind, winds of change. Um, I see the stream, the babbling brook here. Um, I'll let you see this card. This is number 27, Pelican. And it's, I am Pelican, the bridge of the head and the heart. I am careful observation. I am planning. So you have a lot of planning coming through, Virgo. So maybe make a list. You know, if you're taking a trip, Maybe plan on visiting certain, uh, uh, I see architecture or like sacred sites, maybe something like that, but leave your um, schedule, your plans open to meet the locals and change your mind and go somewhere different, you know, that wasn't on the itinerary. So I would say balance that out, be open and have a little bit of structure. Um, I am planning with room for negotiation. There we go. I am the skills you need to reach the goal at hand. That's also this. You're going to reach your goal. You know, it might not be right away, but allow yourself to take your time. Uh, maybe somebody else needs to take their time. You know, if there's a pushy energy with this to get it done right away, maybe it's not going to happen like that. Maybe it does require a little patience. I am the you. Um, I'm unfettered determination. I am the use of team dynamics. There we go. That's a hierophant. Your outlook is too heavy. Your viewpoint too restricted. What you require is greater adaptability. Virgos, you're pretty adaptable. You know, sometimes you get set in your ways of something because it works for you, but I feel like you're the mutable sign. You're able to go in a, to, into a situation and change that conversation, have a conversation about many different subjects. You know, you have many talents that come through. You're able to get along with many personalities, Virgo, um, because you can adapt to a situation. So I want to say if you're action didn't get the right response maybe in a particular re relationship something like that change how you uh, approach that person or that situation change your approach if you have to and see if it gets a different reaction what you require is greater adaptability i am the release of expectation i am the effortless flow of one thing to another i am your need to let things unfold and take the best catch you may have stepped in your own way. You may be tripping on your own feet. Stay focused. I just thought of that song, Get Your Back Against the Wall. 
that disco song. I'll put that below. Stay focused, but do not lose sight of the bigger picture. You will always find what you need. Oh, and that made me think of Let It Whip. <laughs> I'll put that song below. That's also a disco, disco song. Um, I'll put them both below. They're both good. You are positive and I think we got three disco songs. I'll put them all below for you guys. Maybe disco is a good energy for Virgo. You are positive and productive. You are effortless acquisition. You are abundant in resources. That goes back to that creative project. You might have exactly what you need around you. The exact support might find its way to you. You know, the right people will come into your world when you need them. The right teacher when you need it. That's like um, when the student is ready, um, the teacher appears. Or when the teacher is ready, the right student appears. You are Pelican. All right, Virgo. I hope this was helpful to you. I hope you have a beautiful month. I love you so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.